Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Undermine, Other Mine, I guess you call it. Streaking time. Here we are. <laughs> with Bananas are for parties. <laughs> of course, of course. Thank you for the support on Patreon. Bananas are for parties. We got a couple. I mean, that's a no-brainer. The uh, the other curse is still, I would, I would consider bugged. Uh, so that is going to be a big no from me. And then I think we're going to go and do this in this order. Let me explain. Two similar items. In a way. This will... They'll both give us gold value over the course of the run. A.K.A. if I pick either of these, I will be able to buy more from shops. There is... This one will probably... My guess is this one would probably give us more money over the course of the run. However, let me lay something out to you, and it is called laziness. This gives us more money with more effort in picking up gold. This gives us more money with less effort in picking up gold. We're going to take that one, and we're going to take the shop discount to go with it for a deep pocket discount. What do we go for here? I mean, truthfully, like, the Phoenix is one of my faves, so I'm not going to pick him. Don't worry about it. We, we <laughs> By that, I mean, he's one of my favorites, but we played with the Phoenix a decent amount recently. I see. You know, getting the bog out of the way is valid. Like, there's definitely something to that. The fact that there is no wall gold here still is kind of baffling-ish to me. We're going to be getting rid of that bad boy. Because I don't want that. I just don't want it. Uh, but yeah, there's no wall gold. And I understand, like... Okay. Thematically, I, I get it. There's, like, a lore reason. However, for this mode, I feel like it should be tweaked. Don't you think? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Well, but we're, we have the... We have the Thunderbird. God, I wish we picked the Phoenix now. Because now I feel like I'm supposed to do a throw run, you know? Hmm. Hmm. We could get Masa Mune. But the thing is, like, Keyblade is really, really good on runs where you can make it happen. And you know what? I think today is that day. I think today is that day. Let's... let's you know, let's think about it for a second. We got our shop discount. Whoop. We got our shop discount here. We got a shop discount there. Uh, I feel like, you know, how else are we going to get a lot of keys but buying them? I mean, getting lucky, obviously getting like uh, key doubler is, you know, top tier. Honestly, even getting bomb doubler. Well, I mean, well, of course, key doubler and bomb doubler gives you the double doubler. You know, even getting bomb doubler is a very good way because you, if you can get a lot of bombs, speaking of, let's uh, use one. If you can get a lot of bombs, that is a good scenario as well because you can just get a potion that lets you switch your bombs and keys. Just as useful, you know? Oh, look at that. That is going to be nice. Speed run, speed run, speed run. But yeah, we got our we got ourselves our keyblade. I mean, it's a it's a very good item. It's a less good item on uh, other mine than it is on undermine, which I say is a good thing. I think it's a little it's a little too like oppressively strong on uh, on the base mode. Personally, I think it's too too strong in the kind of like brimstony mom's knife kind of way where it's cool, it's fun. Like, it's fun to get it, but it also, like, it's almost, like, worse than those in a way in that mode due to the fact that we can do better. We can do better, and I'm going to wait. I'm not going to reroll it yet. Uh, it kind of, it can monopolize your run, which is something, you know? Like, that ain't great because you could really just make it so, like, you can even go take it one too far, and, of course... To play optimally with it, you could just never open up any locked rooms, and that's just like, I feel like you're not necessarily doing it wrong, but you're doing it not fun. Ooh.
Okay. How much gold was that? Was it worth it? Yeah? Give me... I want... Oh, I was going to say I really want a bomb back with that, but oh well, oh well. Uh, oof. You know what? Does it do damage as, it, as we kill enemies? Is that what this one's proc is? Or is it as it attacks? I do not recall. I do not recall. But I think we have like a better base stat upgrade for our swings at the moment. I don't know if that's gonna hit electrocute. Nope. Alright. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We got work to do. We got work to do. That is not good. That is not good. So there's... Okay, thankfully there's buttons in the middle, but a lot of the enemies that are closer towards the middle here are all flying ones, so we should be good in that regard. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. All right, slowly but surely, baby. Slowly but surely, baby. Just take it easy. Take it peasy. I'm feeling a secret room up here, but we don't have a bomb. And I don't know if we should use it that way. Anyway, all right, 499. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Doll. First of all, yes to that. Give me a four roll or I cry. Okay. If I'm paying for the doll, we want that uh, that juicy roll. Okay. Um. There's a couple things we can do. Some make more sense than others, but I'm going to do this one. Youch. Oh. Couldn't have been much worse of a shot for us. I don't know what I... Like, what was the goal? We have no bombs. We have no keys. What was the goal of that there? We still have our pet biscuits. Yes, just barely. Good. Huge benefit there. So we got our level level two. Here, you just die while I look at this here. Reduce incoming lightning damage. But, and yep, 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 yep. I didn't know if this one was the uh, reduce the lightning damage or increase the amount of times it bounces. Oh. We don't have to go do nothing. Don't you do it. Don't you, don't you do it. Oh. <laughs> So we have, I don't know, what do we do here? Do we go for that because we have the reduction of curses? Probably not. I think we I think we go to the item room, right? I think we just do it. Butcher's Cleaver is definitely not worth re-rolling. I would say it's better than, uh, you know, it's usually it comes to, like, is it better than half of the items in the game? And I would say yes. I think that that is ha better than half the items in the game. It really... Ooh, it really adds up that one there and it's it's like a lot of times if you get it you like often don't even need another sustain item we've been really doing this poorly there but oh well let's see I mean obviously it depends you know like on your comfort with the game how familiar you are how much you played everything like that but I, I think a lot of the time Interesting. Interesting. Bomb run on the table. On the table for sure. Obviously, you don't need it to do a bomb run, but I think that that, I think that, that is the thing that'll make, make me say bomb run on the table. Typically, I mean, obviously, we need either like bomb box or... Pocket bombs. Can't remember what they're called. Boy, these are not what I was hoping for. But throw speed's fine. Throw speed's just fine for me. Why not? Throw speed is just fine for me. Why not? Da ba da ba dooby. 
Let's go down to the next floor because I don't want to guess even though I think that that is a secret room. Ah. You know, a disinergistic pet for this fight for whatever that's worth, but honestly, easiest fight in other mine changed my mind. Well, sell probably it's probably still the easiest in the I don't know. I would argue, well... What one do I take more silly damage on, you know? Because that's really what it comes down to. It's definitely, like, when I get this fight, I usually say, like, eh, we're fine. There's something about the patterns that have just... It's been... Ch it was changed, you know? Like, obviously, it was a long time ago at this point that it was changed, the fight, but... I've gotten really uh, familiar with it, you know. I've gotten super familiar with it. I love it. I love the new changed fight. New as in, it's been here for what, like five months, six months. But it's funny like that. Like certain updates in games, like there was a lot of updates in Gungeon, like little itty bitty updates that change certain things, and I'm always like, oh man, it feels like just yesterday that that thing was changed. It's amazing how ingrained certain, like, moments and mechanics from the games you play and enjoy that, uh, you'd be surprised get really stuck with you in, I don't know, even with those little, oh, whatever, oh, well, shoot. Uh, even with those little tiny things that get up patched and updated, you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that like it was yesterday. Hmm. Y'all know my thoughts on this bad boy. But if you don't, I'll remind you. I think it can be good. But it can be very bad as well. Like, right now, what are we looking for? Phantom pickaxe? Uh, or spectral pickaxe? I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, I would... I would deign to take... A uh, like sequence breaker. I would give it a. I would give it a play. Like I, I mentioned it in either the last video or the video prior. Uh, I can't remember about the the weird combo, like the fun little combo you can use with this to kind of cheat stuff. Is it here? Oh, you do not re-roll golden powder. I'll tell you that much for free. You do not re-roll golden powder, especially, especially now. Especially when you are in this zone, too. You, there's a lot of fun little uh, little gimmicks you get to do. That I will showcase. But yeah, right now, uh, there's a couple... I, I mentioned yesterday, there's a couple different types of throw builds you kind of go for. One of which is, you know, the one we did a couple... Either... Was it last time? Throw Run... Throw Run... The one... God dang it! <laughs> entitled Throw Run Exodia. You know, where you get the um, the throw bouncy hits with multi-hit, really, really, like, amazingly good for room clear, which is a very, high, like, the highest percentage. Sure. Uh, if I get the option to sell it, I might. I shouldn't have picked up that fish. But the other one besides the, that one that we did, you know, you, you've you just seen, is, I would say, a high, just flat high damage. I... Uh, throw run with this so you can like especially if you can get really fast attacks or throw speed and throw damage I would say probably going light on oh my god going light on throw distance oh that sucked I hate that man right now we, we're not on speaking terms but I feel like this is the other throw run to go for. Because I think, you know, you can kind of think of it as doubling your throw damage. Sort of. It's not like a pure double because you could argue that it also cuts down your amount of times that you hit. Due to the fact that you have to wait for your throw to reach its peak. Are you kidding? Did you see that? It hit that and then it split off. <laughs> Annoying as heck. But yeah, I... The reason I, I picked it, I didn't go into my thought process too much. Uh, you probably like, 
you never you never like that. Why do, why'd you take it today? A couple reasons. One, we have the uh, Thunderbird, which scales off of our throw damage. So I think that we can do something fun with that. Um, the other reason is I just haven't really done it recently. I have not done this type. I can't remember the last time I've done this type of throw build. But if we could get... Yeah, Spectral Pickaxes works really well on, on all throw builds because it's just... It, it almost might as well be... See, here's a fun thing we could do with Sequence Breaker. Throw, and then uh, and then teleport in there. We can do that since our pickaxe pierces through rocks. Obviously, we don't have it, though, so that's not uh, that's not a thing right now. Boop, 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 boop. All right, here's my thought. Let's do this in case there's a secret room right there. Good. Uh, and yeah, I don't I don't know if it's like a glitch or what or, or if it's intended, but any of those rocks that uh, blow up when bombs go off in the room with the, the crystals that go blue to red and then blow up. Sure, this is... Yeah, you take this. Why not, right? Uh, whenever they blow up and the bomb that made it blow up was the golden bomb, they drop gold anyways, even though they were not blown up by it. It's weird... But I like it. This room is going to be a gold fest. That is like... That's so much gold for right now. Uh, Yeah, we don't have the keys for that. You know, it, it might seem kind of like a, uh, a ways to go to have picked up Keyblade early. And I would say, you know what? You're probably right. Do I even want it? I'll take one. I kind of regret it. I kind of regret it. We're going to want to make sure we do prioritize some throw speed to make up for this. Like It can be good because it'll let us be a little bit safer in the sense that we'll be further away from enemies when we you know, go for them. See, this is another way we could get a good benefit. Could teleport in right there. Um, just want the gold. I like gold. Okay. Bomb size up would be a very, very valuable blessing as well. I'm tempted to go for that. Bomb damage, I do not care. You know what? Let's do it. Send it. What do you got? Triple bomb shop discount, but low stock. It's a bummer. What was in this shop up here? Did I, did we not have money? Because we got a lot of money late, late in this floor. Take that too, why not? Alright. I like this run. I like this run. You probably hear me say that quite a bit, but hey, guess what? It's because I like most runs. I feel like we can uh, we can scrape things together quite well. Um I I, I think that <laughs> You know, it, I've been accused of of tunnel visioning. And this is an interesting thing I want to bring up. Uh, that I think is important to keep in mind if you are watching these with the intent of uh, just getting better at the game. I do not claim that focusing exclusively on one build idea is the way to go. I think that it has a lot of perks, and I think if you do it loosely, but you know when to tap out with like re-rolling stuff and uh, everything like that, I think that I think it can be really beneficial to helping you out. I really do. Do I think it's the number one best way? No, not quite. But I think it's a really fun way to do the videos because I, I've noticed like there's two types of roguelikes, and one type does better on my channel and with my enjoyment, <laughs> and that is roguelikes where each run can have their own flavor. I have known, noticed a very direct correlation 
to a roguelike being having runs unique enough to be separated clearly and categorized clearly in a title format. Oh my god, we need that. We need that. Uh, and success of the series. Like, it's it's true. Like, Ed, the other, if they don't, if it's a roguelike that doesn't categorize itself well, like, Nova Drift is god tier at it. Like, it is so easy to create super unique runs and categorize and name build, builds that are unique and very different from each other. Uh,. Blessed be! Blessed be! Because also, electricity! We have some stuff to talk about there, but I need to finish up my point. Um, I, I've just, I've noticed that. I've noticed that for sure, that that does better. Because you're like, you, I, subconsciously, even if you don't, you don't know it, a, a lot of people, myself included, you're like, you, you want each run to feel unique. You want each run to be special. And it's like, could I, if I just picked the right things all the time in this game, all the runs would start to feel similar, you know? And this is not, <laughs> I know you're, and I know, Bruce, I know you're watching, and no, this is this is not me being nitpicky. I just thought it was a very interesting topic to uh, to talk about. I uh, I think it's very a very interesting topic to to touch on because, yes, I know. I tunnel vision my builds. I think that that's good though. Like for, I think it makes it more interesting. And if it's if there's something in this game that is not optimal, honestly, probably good. I, I'm not. This is not to toot my own horn at the game, but you know we went on our uh, our 50 something streak for a reason. And it if we have little things that'll make the game like a little bit harder. And if it's multitasking, both making the game harder and more interesting at the same time, like, that's good. Because obviously there's things we're, we can do to make the game harder, a la, like, curse every floor. But, I would not, I would not, if I did that every day, I would not consider that to be interesting either. Because, you know, like, may, maybe it could be, maybe there's some kind of merit to doing a curse run streak per se even like there's some there's merit to it i i i just say that one's more just like a that's for me like i'd rather not the anxiety of that is more frustrating and the rng bs excuse my hypothetical language the bs that does sometimes uh, show up with specific major curses is made tolerable to me by the fact that you usually bring it upon yourself and you can get rid of them you know like if you can't get rid of them and you get like that new that new curse that uh makes it so oh my god the plants shoot bullets boy that'd be frustrating boy that'd be so frustrating and i would be actually i'd be actually mad and it wouldn't be fun on top of that, the runs would all be closer together. Which is something that I like to avoid. You know, I like to avoid... It's always a balancing act, you know? like Because, obviously, you know, you can throw in another thing into the mix. Like, play play Undermine mode to, to switch things up. I have no interest in... <laughs> I have no interest in that now. After playing the regular... Like, the this mode... You know, now I'm kind of just like, why on earth would I go back now? It doesn't really feel like I, I, I just would not be interested in that. If, if it came to that, if it was like, you have one choice, play the regular mode or cancel the series and move on, I would cancel the series and move on. And it's not because like, I think it's bad. I think it's just because like, I've, I've done what I wanted to do with it. I don't I, like, yes, I know there's a new thing, by the way. I know there's apparently a new thing to do. And I'm kind of, like, bummed out to hear it because, like, I know I probably should go do it. But, honestly, other mind, the other mind mode is the best update, in my opinion, the best update that has come out to the game 
by a large margin. It is so good. It is so good. But it has the unfortunate effects of making me not interested in playing the base game ever, ever again because it's so good. You know? That's the that's the that's the bummer. That's the downside of it, unfortunately. Such a good up Oh man, why do we get the easy ones right off the gate? I mean, honestly, we have a really like we have a good build that kind of semi-hard counters Pawn Zoo, semi-hard counters Seer, uh, and even the Blobby Lord. So I mean, like, we're all good. Yes, I know it's not Blobby Lord. Alright, we need to talk about something else, and that was the thing that I said I was gonna talk about after I finished my tangent, but we never finished my tangent. And that's the fact that we got this crazy bomb. This bomb is amazing. If you don't remember what it does, if you don't know what it does, uh, it has the chance. What? I mean, hey, at least we get gold out of it. It has the chance to do that. Thank you for at least making my point very clear. Chance to turn enemies into gold. It also still does both the effects of the golden powder and the electric bombs. So it's really good in that regard. It's literally just two for one bombs. Two, two in one, not two for one. Two for one would probably imply something more like bomb doubler. Whoop! What am I getting at? It's good. It's very good. It's 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 very good, and it's amazing that we got it. <laughs> what? It's amazing. And I can't. I, I'm I'm very excited. I think that you know this run is. This runs, I think, in the same boat as the uh, the run from yesterday. And by that, I mean saying, like, this is a run with perceived value that does not yet have strength. This is a run where we have lots of resources, but that does not make it strong. Here, finally. That does not make it strong. That makes it have a lot of potential. To become strong, you yeah, know. So we're we're not you know we we're not strong yet, but I think we will. I think we'll pop off. And the way my heart wants to go with it, that's fine. Uh, the, the way my heart wants to go with it is in the throw run direction. Even though we obviously have Keyblade, I just I don't think I'm gonna want to stockpile my bombs in order to. Uh, switch them over to keys to do a keyblade run that doesn't sound fun to me when we have this bomb you know i think that our strength our resource strength is going to come from using our bombs to get lots of gold to get lots of gold and we will buy every bomb under the sun God, i really do want a bomb size upgrade though I just want one. I just want one. It really, like, one bomb size upgrade makes it so you can blow through two rows of rocks instead of just one, which is a big deal. Uh, this is good. This is really good. Has the slight downside of giving us extra throw range, which, uh, you know, does take longer for our, bo or our pickaxe to come back to us, but we also... No, we didn't get a throw dis or throw speed up, did we? We had two already. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, at least it probably shows you how it is uh, a detriment to our damage per second. Look how much longer it takes for our pickaxe to come back to us. That's something you have to keep in mind. Obviously, if we play like a sniper, we're going to be really like safe. But why? I don't care about being safe in this game. No siree. Unless there's, unless it's something like uh, Glass Cannon, which is just, unfortunately, I think, improperly balanced. But, it's, imp it's, I don't know, it's weird. There, it's a weird item because in some scenarios, in like Exodia scenarios, we could probably get use out of it. But, hell, it hasn't even shown up once in this entire series, has it? No, it did once. But, there was just some other really good option anyways. Uh, this is the fun thing we can do with this, too. We can pierce through walls. Like, this is a good build. I would like to have it go a little bit more berserk, though. And I think we can. I think we just need, um... 
We need more throw speed at this rate. I think that one throw distance upgrade was... I think I should have skipped it, genuinely. I think that my run would have been better off if I skipped it. Nope. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it's a little room here. Okay. I just had to kill Pronto. Can we get, like, a thing? Oh, okay. One more. Ooh. I don't know if this is any better now. There's food all over the freaking floor. Oh. <laughs> Alright, good deal. Good eels, good eels. Two damage. I mean, does it scale off a of bomb damage like the other? Poi chance. Yep. Sure, why not? It's not a unique bomb. So it's, uh, and, you know, happy that they did that. No, we don't want throw distance. Uh, but we do want that. Sure. Uh, any more bomb size than that upgrades? You know, sure, cool. There's no danger in it. Oh my god, our shop discount situation is so good. Alright. And we're off. Okay. One of these is. Not. None of those are. Wow. I was like, one of those had to be, right? Oh, we almost got Wombo comboed. All right, get out of here. Don't touch me, don't look at me. Don't even think about me. Hmm. That's at my bomb size. Oh, hell. Oops. I don't know, there's there's value in it. I'm, I'm sure there's more value in that item than I, uh, have found. Wow. We got lucky there. Eh. Eh. I feel like that could be fun. With Pearson. Yep. Should have put that in the lava. The molten gold. Aura. Aura's good, but I don't think I need it. Speaking of don't think I need it. Where is it? Yeah, I feel like the discount impacts us there. I, I'm keeping Twisted Blade because I'm um, I'm trying to lean into its value a little bit. That's why I'm keeping these curses that I probably would normally say let's ditch. What? Does anybody believe me that this guy does too much damage for a man who also poisons the ground yet? Oh my god. Wombo comboed by this. Pilfers. That was... Quite frankly, an incredible dumb amount of damage. Absolutely incredible dumb amount of damage. I hate you. Okay. Good. Trying to eke out value here. Do 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 do. Very good. 
Good amount of money. We're, we're, we're popping. We're popping off. Okie dokie. Um, sh sure. We'll remove curses. Thank you. That's it. You know what? Thank you. Beautiful. I'll remove curses. I know that it does remove some uh, crit as well, but... Those guys are a little punk sometimes, you know? Sometime they just suck. This is good with uh, with Thunderbird, especially since we do have Stinkmaster Supreme out of the way. What's his name? Mortar. Mortar out of the way. One of the only ways that we get uh, hard countered by having electricity. It's obviously like, you know, some rooms are just bad as well, but, you know. We're gonna be fine. Yep. Really wanted that attack, that throw speed, please. If we could just get Sonic Boom, oh baby, I'd love it. What do we have here. Sure. Obviously, there's value to that. Uh, yeah, we could. We could. Oop! I turned your father to gold. I'm trying to just get make sure we get the value before the uh, the little fools take it away. This is not a good idea. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm immune. That's right. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, why not? Am I, like, super excited about it? Mm, yeah, I'm, like, pretty happy about it. Uh, should we? Probably not. The answer's probably no, but, boy, we are going to get a good amount of money out of the mix as well. Could have cooked that. I don't know. Oof. Okie dokie. That's enough to make a boy live. We could we could light those fires. Do I care? I don't know if I care. Burp. 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 Shower me. I got the popcorn kernels. I want to get a shop with all kinds of bombs inside of it. Ooh, this room would normally be scary, but I got a hard counter for it. Oh, but a bomb at the same time would have been so cute here. So cute. Oh, you... Okay. Of course, could have, could have pushed him in and everything like that. Pushed in the, uh, the old meat there. Could have been good. Yeah, we have a pretty good counter for these guys. <sighs> yeah, these guys do less damage than the poison variant. I feel like them just from a game design perspective, I feel like the other ones I don't think that they're they should inherently be the stronger version. I think that that would be oh, I think it'd be better off if it was just a different variant, you know? And the poison one doesn't quite do as much melee damage as the other, but he ruins the map. I feel like, you know, like, that's the trade-off. That's what his strength should be, right? I don't know. I know we're talking about it for 12 years. Don't worry about it. My YouTube channel, I'll, I'll be boring if I want to. You can't stop me. You can't stop me from being boring. Should we do the... Yeah, absolutely. Should we do it? We should have probably done our dupe there. Gold Tooth is really going to let me make a lot more silly decisions like that. We have our bomb. We could put it there, but I think that's probably a not good idea. Okay, that was important that we get that guy dead ASAP. Oop. This 
point we gotta bomb our way in there, but oh well. Oh well. I could have duped it, but... That's the thing, is I always feel like we can get a better dupe value. Heading into the shop, or we could even remove a curse. Nah, that's a bad idea. Um. By the way, I I had the pitch before about this weird throw distance, throw speed thing, and the like semi lack of. Uh, it's, and keyword semi lack of um, power in throw runs compared to other runs and I think that I, I genuinely think that to, to make up for this weird little interaction of throw distance sometimes causing DPS downgrades I think it'd be cool if they just Frankensteined throw speed and throw distance into like throw strength or something or throw power I, like obviously you need to throw might or something like that you know like you could find you could find an appropriate word for it but i just think that that would be like i think that that'd be a good one Oop. because you know if you think about it like melee it's got yeah it's swing swing damage swing speed swing size which means three that really do uh, like all of the power I feel like I mean you know obviously there's you can then go say also also the crit whatever like that all applies to the throw as well you know what I'm saying so if you have to dilute further like that there's one less axis of power you have to care about or one less uh, garbage buff I don't know I feel like it'd be nice I feel like it'd be nice because I would, I, I just, like, I rarely, so rarely want to throw Distance Blessing. It's usually just poop. It's usually just poop. Can't get that. But, if you bundled those two together, I would pick that Blessing. Like, I would pick it. And even still, I would, I would have to weigh my decision against uh against throw damage that's on a throw run that's my thing you know even still i would weigh my decision and if that's the case then quite frankly it should probably be changed to be that but i don't know that's just a theory Oop. i think it'd be a nice a nice change of p change of pace there i also i think there's something i don't know I don't know what should be done with bomb runs, but I think they're probably... I think they're fine, I guess, right now. Uh, the only thing I think that should be done with bomb runs is... Um, U-235 should not commandeer your bomb damage. I think it should be a bomb damage amplifier. But then, you know, you run into the issue, like, then what's SAR bombs good for? Well, you know, don't make an item that's that close, then. All right. Sure. Let's, you know, same same thing. Let's lean into what we've got. And in theory, if we're not lazy, this is just a nothing because we can cook all of our meat. However, I would like to remind everyone in the opening where I picked between two items in the beginning and I willingly potentially sacrificed value because of lazy. So, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. The thing is, yeah, it's like, when you play a game enough, you can take these shortcuts. If you want optimal play, you know, like, you could... Just, like, if you want optimal play, you're kind of probably one of the people that wants, um... Probably wants base... Base Undermine, like, the, the runs where you just, like, I just want to see how everything can possibly interact, every run, and I want every run to be three hours long. You know, like... The, the, the quintessential, uh, like, Noida, Noida experience, effectively. And I, you know, more power to the people who want to spend all their time doing that every single time. But that really lends itself to what we were talking about earlier and how... Uh, 
by by putting certain restrictions on yourself or uh, caring a little bit too much about optimal play, you will have so many runs that feel m more similar. You know, like if you're playing, that's why like chief, ch that's the chief chief reason why I think I like this mode more than the base one is really like the base runs really really like when you do the entire run from start to finish and you're like if you are min maxing appropriately you can make every run feel almost exactly the same it's one of those situations where it's like it's like when are when are we getting all of the items it's like we're, if we're getting basically all the items the the run just becomes uh about when you get each one like do you, did I get it at the optimal time or not? Sure, final. I'll ditch. And I feel like, you know, that don't do it for me. And none of this is complaints or anything. I'm, I am definitely, like, and I'm not even saying anything in the base mode needs to be changed. This is not, none of this is complaining. None of this is whining. This is all just merely, like, game dev discussion that I find interesting. And if you don't, I apologize. But when you play a certain amount of a game, when you played 330, 337 here, it reaches a point in the series where... It happened with Gungeon. It becomes more of a podcast with the game in the background. And, like, I will obviously talk about major key points about things that are happening. And I'm not gonna... Obviously, I'm not gonna not talk about the game. Like, we, we've talked about the game. But there's other, there's just, there's things to discuss. And I think Undermine is just like such a fantastic example of, ooh, that was, that was a bad throw that we did not get punished for. Um, it's just such a good case study for things that are done, like, because it does so many things so right. But there are some things that I think it doesn't do right. And I, that's a, that's a perfect game for game discussion. You know? I think there's there's something to be learned by talking about like perfect esque games. Games you people would maybe like call perfection. That obviously like aren't quite perfect. But I think there's I think there's some in, in the roguelike sphere that I I would deign to call like perfect adjacent. Like uh, there's I could not I could not come up with a meaningful list. Oh. I could not come up with a meaningful list of changes I would want from Hades. You know? Like, and I feel like if that's the thing, like, if, if everything is on your list of issues you would want changed about a game is, like, this is just personal preference, then I feel like it's, is it perfect? Is it a perfect game? Who cares about that? Dis I, like, I don't care about that discussion right, you know, at this moment. Some days I do, some days I don't. But it's about as perfect as uh, it needs to be, right? Like, what would I change about Hades? Let me think. <laughs> Meta progress takes a little long. Even that, I don't have an issue with. Not really. But. I'm sure there's things. The fact that there's not more of it, if that's ever, uh... I, I don't know. Like, I can't say build variety. There's so much build variety. I don't know. Like, I, I could not come up with a meaningful list... At the moment. Of changes that would improve Hades. And while that is, my point is, while that is really good, I would argue there's probably more, more topics would get sparked for me to talk about about game design from a game that does some really like unique things super, super right, like, like Undermine, but still has some things that I think like Put, that I need to put my finger on about what I'm not super jazzed about. That's just a better game. That's a better game to talk about.
for game design discussion right now. Like, you can find a million videos about what's super good about Hades. Whoop. Because it's, it is super good. It is. It is. Whoop. And I, like, I'm sure I could put my finger on it and I could come up with enough topics or enough to fill up a video. But I feel like I could probably, I think I could probably fill up more, more information in a video uh, if I was talking about Undermine. I do. Oh, heck. Whoop. 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 Take that, people who seem to think I hate Undermine. <laughs> There's there's a there's a there's a <laughs> I don't I don't get it man I don't get it When have you ever invested 350 hours in something that you don't like? E.g. I'll tell you the answer that that is gonna be left and then backspaced because I said it. My job, like you, LOL, or something like that. But. My job is not to play Undermine. My job is to play video games. And quite frankly, I do decently well enough just playing any <laughs> any game I want right now in the roguelike sphere, so I don't have to play Undermine. I choose to play Undermine. Like, I could probably start a different series in this slot, and I bet you, like, based off of freshness alone, like you, you see with the views uh, on, like, all the new series, it would probably do better, you know, truthfully. Probably do better than just an yet another episode of Undermine. I do un more Undermine because I like Undermine. Which is such a novel concept. Apparently. Whoop. Let's see. <laughs> you know, thank you. I can't help but feel a little bummed out about how late to the party you are. But I can't be too mad. Can't be too mad. This is just a quintessentially busted as hell run. If it has not been made abundantly clear about how little I've had to talk about the game. You know what? That sounds fun. Sure. This is the build. This is the build for Gecko Blast. Does it work with the... Uh, I wonder if it works with the actual Golden Fools. It's interesting. Like, it's interesting. I I'll give it that. It's an interesting item. I stand by the fact that it should give you, like, five bombs. Or th three. Hell, it should give you three bombs. It should give you something else. That and the plunger. And, uh, what is it? Rapid placed bombs. Like, all of those ones. Just, like, let them give you, like, three bombs so that they aren't just such a bummer. I can count on, like, one hand the amount of times I've wanted those items I I don't even know yeah like when have I ever wanted gecko blast rapid place bombs would at least work for being funny on a boss it helps there I'm doing it I don't care about keyblade we're not using our swing anyway well you know what? You know what? You know what? You, you, you know what, mister? You know what, mister? You know what, mister? I don't care that I have transmutagen. You've disappointed me so much that I'm killing you. I mean... So yeah, what, there's Gecko Blast. I can't even remember. Like, I can't even tell you what the, uh, the Rapid Fire Bombs is called. It's just such a... Such a non-item. Then there's the Detonator. I feel like all of those just... Pull the, pull the Isaac route. Make it so they also give you a couple bombs. Or... Or... Bomb Size Radius. Something like that. Eh? Just a, another bomb stat. I think that'd be... Like, I know I know they don't all need to... Like, I'm not saying they all need to be busted. They all, don't all need to be balanced, strong, etc., etc. It's more just, like... 
if your item is practically never um, a t oh, an item that someone wants to take, then that's like, oop, oh, I got knocked back into the pit, huh? Then that should be changed. You know, they don't all need to be balanced. It's a single player game. Did we get Pet Rock? Did we get Pet Rock? Sure. Once again, I'm not going to say I'm mad. Because I didn't have to get it at all. What? We didn't actually get reduced stock options. Is that... Is that curse bugged? Is that curse bugged or something? The hell? Don't care. Huh. What? Got five bombs left. I do want to save a decent amount of our bombs for our final boss, because I think it would be funny. Doing it for the vine. Okay. But that might give me... No, I feel like... To, to try and encourage them to get turned into gold, I think we... Okay. I think we want to... Four keys for that. <laughs> I gotta talk about that. Four keys for meal ticket. And just, no. That's a... That's a... That's something. That's something all right. Whoop. I forgot what I was talking about. I was so, so disappointed in... That purchase... Oh. It's funny. We we really do just like the same amount of swing damage. <laughs> what do you got? You know, um, Ponzu has ads and okay. Well. Wait, gold frenzy plus standing in this. We have fire immunity. Oops. We actually don't do very much bomb damage. We just... It's a good bomb, but we don't do very much bomb damage. Oops. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. And this is obviously like the way to go. As much as my heart didn't want it to be. Three, four. Well, we have the attack speed potion. It's a no-brainer, especially because they're just they're marked anyways. You know. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Slowly nudged my face and did half of my health bar. That's like, can we talk about that for a second? Get out of here. Get out of here. Bananas are for parties. All right. Beep. That is that. And that is gonna do it for today. We get I love that we get a new crown every time at the very least, like, you know. So what is I mean it was very uh I'm trying to think of our title for bananas are for parties. Bananas are for parties, the gilded bombardier is your title. Thank you for the support on Patreon, getting your name on a peasant, and apparently a title is the new 
It's the new thing. Anybody at the $5 tier or higher gets their name on a peasant and uh, helps support the channel, especially throughout January, where revenue, quite frankly, tanks to the pooper. Uh, so, you know, all help is ex ex extra, extra, extra appreciated, but unnecessary. If you don't want, we are not going to be doing less videos. If you don't support, <laughs> it's just it's just helpful. Uh, but hey, that's going to do it. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day. I don't do this often, but go watch Nova Drift. If you like roguelikes, go watch Nova Drift. Maybe even just jump right into the current one. It gets so much better as more items are unlocked. It's cool and deep right away, but it just gets so much more varied and complex and uh, uh, exciting and varied as the episodes go on and as you more unlocks are gotten. I've just gotten to the point now in the series where synergies are unlocked, which is... I didn't think that there was that big of a thing left to unlock still, so go give that a look. Go check it out. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.